Hello there guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, in this one we're going to be taking a look at doing a loading screen uh, again. We've, we've, I've already covered this in a previous tutorial, but looking over that, uh, it's a little bit out of date and there's a much better way that we can do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and first of all demonstrate what it is that we've got going on. Um, and, and then I'll show you how, that we can, how we can go about doing that. So you'll see on the ground here that it says starter level. And if I go through this doorway here, I get a loading screen and I'm on the new level. Um, I am just going to put a delay in here just to show you that the loading screen is there. So let's go ahead and put a, a second delay in here. So basically now the loading screen is going to take a second longer, but let's just go and take a look at that. So we've got our loading screen and then we're into the new level and you notice that the doorway isn't actually there on this level. So we have changed levels. Um, so let's go ahead and show you how we're going to do this. So we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a, a loading screen. So I've got one here, but I'm going to go through creating this with you. So we want to right click inside your content browser. Under user interface, you want to create a new widget blueprint. And I'm going to name this loading screen tutorial. Or tut, rather. So inside here, um, it's going to be pretty basic. I'm just going to do an image. Now you can do whatever you want on here. You can have this as um, some animation, some video. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and basically set this up as an image with some text that just says loading on it. So let me just go ahead and sort this out here. So there's my image that fills the screen. I've got a simple black image here that I'm just going to use to overlay on there. Uh, I'm going to put some text in, anchor that to the middle, and change that to say loading. Um, we'll make that a little bit bigger, maybe size 50. Beautiful. And the only other thing that I'm going to put on, just for a nice little effect, um, let's hold it where it is. I'm going to put a circular throbber in here. Actually, I don't like that one. I'm going to put a, a normal throbber in there, something like that. So that's, our, that's now our loading screen. I'm just going to anchor that to that, where, that place there as well. So you can see our loading screen there. That's, that's what the user will see on their level transition. Um, so we've got our loading screen set up. Now, how do we go about actually getting this onto the screen and getting the user from one level to another? Well, it's relatively simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this class. And we'll create that again from the beginning. So the only other thing that I have that you won't have is a mesh, which is basically created out of three cubes. You can use whatever you want for this. This is just to, to give it a bit of um, aesthetic. So I'm going to right click on my content browser again. I'm going to create a new blueprint class of type actor and this is going to be level transfer. Now basically you can use any event in the game to trigger this level transfer. <clears throat> um, I'm going to set up a little portal that I'll walk through. You could perhaps have it so that if you, you could have basically any event in the game fire this off. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and quickly set up a little portal here. So I'm going to add a component, type static mesh and I'm going to put my door in there like that. I'm going to go ahead and add another component of type box collision and I'm just going to stretch that out so that, that fills inside the doorway. So this is what I'm going to check when the player collides with. So when the player collides with this that's when I'm going to go ahead and initiate that level transfer. So on act to begin overlap when my character walks into that mesh there uh, I want to create a widget and that widget class is going to be what we just created there. So that's loading screen tut. Now with that widget, I want to add that to the viewport. And, and then this is where we would load our level. So I'm going to put a delay in. This will make the gate, this will make the level load a bit slower. Um, but the reason behind doing this is it transfers way too quickly to the other level at the minute. And by putting a delay in, I'm going to allow the loading screen to load and allow the other people, allow the people playing the game to, uh, to actually get to see and enjoy that loading screen. So once I've finished my delay, it's pretty simple here, if Unreal Engine would respond. I just want to open level. Now you must make sure that you get the level name correct in here. So let's just back out to my content browser. So I've got my starter level. And if I look for a filter by maps, where is that? Uh, on levels, level, there we go. So I've got new level there. So the name of my other level is new level. 
So I'm going to jump back into this level transfer thing here and type in new level. This is case sensitive, so you, may, you want to make sure that you get that correct. Um, so what that's going to do now is when we collide with that object that we've just created, this level transfer thing, we're going to create the widget, we're going to add it to the user's viewport, we're going to take half a second there just to let it get up there and let the user see that, and then we're going to open the level new level. So let's save that, and let's go ahead and remove that filter and drop our level transfer into the world, and hit play. And now when I walk through this, we get a loading screen, and then you can see that I'm now on the new level. So just to show you that there, once again, when I collide with this, I'm on the starter level at the minute. When I collide with that object, it puts the loading screen on my screen, and then I'm into the new level. So that's how you'd go about doing that. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay subscribed for more. Uh, give me a like if you enjoyed this video, and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you want to see next. Thank you very much, and have a lovely day.